Hey guys, Jurassic Collectibles again. Uh, if you didn't see on our Facebook and Twitter page, uh, the giveaway is going to be announced this weekend, Saturday. So stay tuned to find out if you've won the goodies. And if you haven't entered already, make sure you do. Entry is free and simple. It's on the homepage. Go and check it out. You could be in for winning a vintage red Kenner Rex. But today, we're going to be taking a look at this. This is a dinosaur head. It's actually a dinosaur head container from Favorite Co. We've actually reviewed quite a lot of Favorite Co's uh, dinosaurs on the channel. We opened a whole box of them and we still need to get through loads of them, which I plan to do. Uh, but this is actually a T-Rex head filled with miniature dinosaurs. Quite unique. I thought this would be a bit of fun to open up on the channel today. So let's get cracking. So as per usual, I'm using my trusty craft knife to get us into this bag. And we can first take a look at this T-Rex head. Now remember kids, if you're using a craft knife, do get adult supervision. Just so you don't uh, hurt those fingers. There we go. So here is the T-Rex head. You know, nothing special about this guy, I have to be honest. It's... Uh, you know, it's very loud and very colourful, but, um, you know, not the best sculpt. But still, you know, good fun. Good fun from Favourite Co. And you can see it's got a handle, so you could actually use this as an upside-down T-Rex handbag if you felt so compelled. Here's a closer look at the label on the bottom. Favourite Co. Mini Dinosaur Set. And you can see some of the dinosaurs you'll get inside. Here's a closer look at that texture of the T-Rex skin. You can see it's very simplified inside the jaw. Very child friendly, does have that nice black eyeliner that Papo used, so actually they do get some points for that. And you can see there's the handle. Now I'm assuming, yes, it's a twist bottom. Oh, and inside it's crammed with dinosaur goodies. So let's get started. So this might be a good video if you're looking for stocking fillers, you know, dinosaur toys. I think uh, this would be a good candidate. So, these seem to be individually bagged. So let's get out our first contestant. Oh, look at this. Wow, it actually looks pretty decent. It appears to be a Brachiosaurus. Okay, let's tear open the bag and see what we've got here. Yeah, a Brachiosaurus and a display base. That's not bad. Here's the Brachiosaurus. Not a bad looking sculpt, you know, guys. Wow. Pretty decent. You can see it's got peg holes on the feet there. Very colorful. I like this sculpting of the musculature on the neck. It's actually a very nice sculpt. Seems to be hand sculpted if I had to guess. But the detail's very nice. And then we've got this uh, dried riverbed base. Let's put him on his base. So that foot goes there. That foot goes on there, I assume. Now I did have some trouble with uh, favorite co bases and dinosaurs staying on bases. So let's see if this thing can actually stand up. So actually, yeah, look at that. It's standing up. Well done, favorite co. That's pretty nice as far as minifigures go. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. Next we have, oh, what's that? Is it a T-Rex, Allosaurus? Maybe a T-Rex. Let's have a look. This is good fun. Should do this more often, guys. Minifigure openings. These are actually very nice minifigures. Wow, okay. So this appears to be the Tyrannosaurus Rex, I would say. Very nice sculpt, very nice coloration. It's a red Rex, guys. It seems to be the same design almost as the actual container itself. Uh, but the sculpt is not half bad on this, you know? It's pretty cool. Nice detail going on, nice coloration. Yeah, pretty decent figure. Even the eye's been nicely painted. Very nice. And the base for this one is kind of like a stony uh, sort of sort of wet look stone base, that rocky outcrop. Very nice, nicely painted, nice gloss finish as well. 
It's made from like a rubbery material, as is the T-Rex. Same with the Brachiosaurus, they're made from sort of like a, a hard rubber. Let's try and put this on the base. Yeah, very nice. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that one too. Let's see if this one will stand up. So far, I'm very pleased with these little figures. Very impressive. They remind me of the old die cast 1993 Jurassic Park figurines that you could get. They're the same level of detail and the quality is very nice. Very nice paint jobs as well. Okay, so next up, what do we have here? Oh, I guess this is a Triceratops, but time will tell. Yeah, I think it is indeed a classic Triceratops. Look at that. Wow. As far as minifigures go, these are really impressive. Hasbro, eat your heart out. Gosh, yeah, that's a really nice little minifigure. And the base for this one is like a sandy, shiny base. But nicely weathered. Very nice indeed. Let's put him on there. That foot goes there and that foot goes there. So it seems to be two peg holes with all of these. And actually the rubbery makeup of the figure allows them to kind of fit into the uh, the peg holes and stretch them if you need to. But that is a gorgeous looking little minifigure. Look at that. Wonderful paint job. Okay, next up. Let's see, how many have we got left in here? I'd say we've got two more, maybe. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's one more left after this one, so let's have a look. Oh, this looks cool. Now I'd say this looks like a very brightly colored Carnotaurus, which, you know, is really cool. I love Carnotaurus. Yes, I think it is. Wow, look at this one. Incredible. This has to be one of the best minifigures I've seen in ages, just in terms of the bold coloration, the sculpt. That's just a really nice looking minifigure. Look at that. Way better than those Jurassic World ones that we got. Anyway, very nice rocky base there. Again, sort of with that wet look, but very nicely weathered. Gosh. Yep, favorite co, very good dinosaur figures. As I said, we will be going through the rest of that box in the near future. So if you've been holding out for those, do not fear, I will get round to them. There we go. Carnotaurus with a blue stripe. Very cool. I like that one a lot. I think this is my favorite so far, if I'm honest. Okay, we're on to the last one. Oh, it's the classic Stegosaurus. I have to say, really love the paint schemes on these. Feels really well art directed. You know, as, as far as toys go, you don't often get appealing looking dinosaurs these days. But these ones are all knocking it out of the park. Yeah, look at this color scheme. Really cool. Just an exciting way to present a dinosaur. So of course this is the Stegosaurus. Very nice stripes running across it. You got the tail up. Even this toy is more accurate than the ones we saw in Jurassic World. Very nice. Very cool. Now you can see we've got a nice, this one's like a, a green base. So I assume it's supposed to be like vegetation, but it's actually like a rocky base. So um, I don't know if there's reuse going on here of the bases. They do look all individual, but um, yeah. It's sort of been painted green despite the fact that it's rock. Maybe it's mossy rock. Who knows? Could be very slippery for this poor Stegosaurus and he's just skittling around trying to actually regain his balance. But he can't because he's on mossy rock. Mossy rock. No. So there we go. Stegosaurus on his green base. And actually the green does complement that nice orange. Very cool. I like the way its neck is sort of hanging down. You got that. Nice gullet, feels very naturalistic, like a um, like a modern day reptile. I suppose like a um, like a tortoise. You know, you got all that skin hanging down. Very nice. Okay, and we do have in here some sort of fact card. So let's take this out. Here we go. Mini dinosaur set. And favorite do have a website. There we go. Ffavorite.net. Very cool, look at this. Now obviously I can't read this lettering, but it's a very nice little fact card, if you can. In the back, 
Yeah, you've got to run down with the dinosaurs. Oh, it's an Allosaurus. My bad. It's an Allosaurus. There's me thinking it's a Carnotaurus. It's an Allosaurus, of course. There we go. Terrible with my dinosaurs. There we go. So Allosaurus, Stegosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and Triceratops. Very nice. And that's it, I think. Let's just double check. Yep, yeah, absolutely empty. But this is actually quite a nice receptacle. You could use this for all sorts of things. You could put your toothbrush in there if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, very impressed with this line of figures. So there we have it guys, that was today's look at the Favourite Co. minifigure range. Now I believe there might be another dinosaur head that I can pick up. This is the T-Rex one. But um, yeah, I'll see if I can pick up the other one, because these are actually very nice little minifigures indeed. They do remind me a lot of the 1993 Jurassic Park die-cast figures, and the detail on these things is incredible. The paint jobs are really bold and nice. Just really beautiful stuff from Favourite Co. And I remember being impressed by their box of dinosaurs as well, so... I will get around to reviewing the rest of those. Okay, guys, in the meantime, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.